everyone and welcome back. I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to wear my makeup when I'm wearing glasses because I find it can be pretty difficult to figure out what to wear for makeup when you have to wear glasses. So I wanted to show you guys how I like to wear my makeup and give you some little tips and tricks that I've figured out throughout the years. I've had glasses since I was in grade five and I've been wearing contact lenses since I was in grade six, which is a really, really long time. But I always prefer to wear contacts because glasses tend to give me headaches and I just don't like wearing glasses very often. I also wanted to show you guys some of my new glasses that I got from Firmu Glasses. They have tons of glasses online and they actually reached out to me and me a link to get a free pair of glasses. I also ended up getting two other pairs because their glasses are so cheap. I got the two other pairs for like $20 three dollars I believe so super affordable considering that glasses at stores are sometimes close to like 200 250 for lenses and frames there are prescription lenses as well which is awesome because prescription lenses can be super duper expensive yeah so they sent me a free pair of glasses I got to choose which frame and style I liked and then I just ended up buying two other prescription lenses as well. I'll be showing you guys clips of all three uh, styles that I bought. I ended up getting very different styles. Part of my problem is I can never decide which one I like more, so I end up getting all of them. Firmu is such a cool website, not just because it's super affordable, but also because they have all of these different styles. I've never bought glasses online before, so um, it was a new experience for me. They also offered option to like virtual like glasses, I guess, and you can upload a picture of yourself and then try on the different pairs of glasses so you can see what they look like on your actual face. A couple of different websites do this, but I feel like that's super convenient. I also feel like the quality on these glasses isn't terrible at all considering the price. I think it's pretty good quality. All the glasses fit me really nicely. They give you the different sizes. Um, which is a little bit confusing. You do kind of have to measure your like current frames and see what those sizes were. They do give you all the different dimensions. They lay it out really nicely. Shipping was also really fast. I think it took a week, maybe a week and a half to get to me, but I am in Canada, so that's probably why it took a little bit longer. And the glasses arrived. They were packaged really securely in like a bubble wrap, and then they all came in cases, and the cases were inside this like little pouch thingy and the cases were also really nice it looks like a map and it's a very sturdy case it came with the little uh, cloth thingy to wipe your glasses with and each of the pairs also came with little like uh, tools I guess like these are the little paddings that you can put on the inside of your glasses and screws and a little tool to fix that overall I had a pretty good experience on the website they have so many different styles like I said and all for a really really affordable price Firmu also gave me a link that you guys can use I'll put it in the description bar below and this will give you a buy one get one free you can basically get two pairs of glasses prescription lenses for like 20 to 40 dollars depending on which style you pick so I'll link that below Below if you guys want to check it out That's pretty much all I have to say I want to jump into the tutorial on how I like to do makeup for glasses and I'll also show you guys the different styles as well but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just jump right into these I'm so excited I love glasses now I want to be wearing them every day I already have my sunscreen on so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into foundation today I'm going to be mixing these two L'Oreal foundations the pro glow with the pro matte I have the pro glow in the shade one, no, 203 and the Pro Matte in the shade 104. I'm gonna focus this foundation just along the bottom half of my face as well as on my forehead. And I tend to avoid the general like center of my face, especially my nose because that's where my glasses are gonna sit, so I don't like to put foundation there. And I'm gonna be blending it in with my Real Techniques sponge. I also don't know what's going on with these plants back here. I watered them today. The water's seeping through the pots because this is all wet. I hope they're going to be okay. I always recommend for glasses that you go with a concealer that's a lighter shade than your skin tone because I find your under eye can look a little bit dark when it's behind the lens. For this video, I'm going to go in with my Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is in the shade Light. Just going to place this right under my eye. I'm not going to bring it down in a little triangle or anything. It's just going to go right under my eye. I'm just gonna put that a little bit on my chin as well to even things out and then on the center of my forehead As you can tell I've completely avoided putting any product in this area right here Because the shape of my glasses are a little bit larger and when I smile like this part hits the lens I'm gonna just blend in this concealer with that same sponge 
I know it looks funny right now because it's so brightening under my eyes, but when I put the glasses on, it's all going to make sense. And to set my under eyes, again, I'm going to be using something a little bit more brightening. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 1. 20. I want to take it again with the sponge. Now I'm going to bring this powder down into that area that we did not put anything there. Even though I'm not wearing foundation or concealer in this area, um, I'm going to set it with a powder. I want to kind of try my best to prevent oil from happening there because then my glasses will start slipping. I'm also going to use this on my chin and forehead. And I am wearing my contacts right now. If I wasn't wearing my contacts, I'd have to go like super close to my mirror and I wouldn't be able to see the viewfinder to see if I'm in focus. So I am wearing my contacts, but in the morning I can hold like my mirror like right up to my face so that I can actually see when I'm applying my makeup. That's a huge problem with having glasses. It's really hard to see your face in the mirror, especially if you have a prescription, a higher prescription. So I find that's a big issue for me. I'm just gonna use my RCMA No Color Powder. This is just gonna set my face. As always, I'm gonna first start by just taking a little bit on the back of my sponge, the butt end, and I'm going to just put this powder right on top of the areas where I want the coverage to last. So for me, that's right here and right here on this side. And then just for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this pointed powder brush from e.l.f. and just kind of dust this lightly on the rest of my face. Okay, before I finish off this uh, look, I'm going to do my eyes. I'm actually going to start off with my eyebrows. I don't normally do my eyebrows in the morning, but when I'm wearing glasses, I feel like it's just important to frame your eyebrows a little bit and clean them up. I don't know, it's like when the frame of your glasses kind of hits your eyebrows, I feel like your eyebrows can get a little bit lost behind the frame. So I want to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I'm just going to take this powder part first and fill in my brows. And then I go into the gel part of the kit and I use this just to kind of set the hairs in place. I have crazy like dry patches in my eyebrow right now. It's on both eyebrows and it's like right at this spot right here. So that unevenness there and unevenness there is a really huge dry patch. Then for the actual eyes, I'm gonna do something very simple because I find that the actual eyes aren't super important when you're wearing glasses. I feel like it's more important for me to work on my skin and my lip, but I am gonna do a little bit on my eyes and I'm gonna take this Joe Fresh eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna dip into this matte brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna dust this brown shade into my crease. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a light shimmery shade. I'm gonna use this on my actual eyelid. I'm then gonna dip into this dark brown matte shade right here and I'm going to use this on the outer portion of my eyes. The light matte, where did it go? This one, the light matte brown shade and I'm gonna use this under my eyes. And then I'm gonna dip into the matte black shade and I'm going to line my upper lash line. I do think it's really important to use uh, like a liner or a black eyeshadow um, to line your eyes because I feel like depending on your frames your eyes can either look smaller or bigger behind glasses and I like to keep my bottom lash line quite bare. I feel like it just opens your eyes more when you have less on your lower lash line but I am going to add a little bit of this dark brown matte shade on the outer portion of my lower lash line. I'm going to take that same brightening shade that I used on my lid with my finger this time because I felt like I lost some of the color. I get into the inner corner as well. I'm also going to use this Milani, uh, what is this called? 12 hour wear shadow in the shade Almond Cream and I'm going to line my lower lash line with this. Because again, this is gonna open up my eyes a lot more and make them look more bright down there. Okay, the next part is mascara and I find this is the hardest part to do with glasses because my eyelashes always hit the lens of my glasses and then they always leave little marks on the lenses and it's very very annoying so my tips for wearing mascara is to curl your lashes as much as you can so that they don't point straight out rather they point up and I also would recommend wearing a waterproof mascara because it's less likely to transfer but I don't actually own a waterproof mascara so I'm just gonna use my regular mascara I also would highly recommend that you do I should have done this, but I highly recommend that you do your eyes before you do your face so that your mascara has time to dry and while you're doing the rest of your face, it won't leave marks on the lenses. So definitely recommend you do your eyes 
first. I should have done that in this video. It is a tough thing. Half the time I don't even bother with mascara. In case you do really want to wear it, those are my tips. I'm gonna curl my lashes with the e.l.f. eyelash curler. And like I said, really curl the heck out of these. I'm gonna be using my CoverGirl Supersizer Fibers Mascara and I'm only gonna apply this to my top lashes. So that's the eye look complete. Again, it's very simple. Honestly, you can wear this without glasses too, but this is just how I like to do my eyes when I'm wearing glasses. I also really like wearing eyeliner, like a winged eyeliner when I'm wearing glasses. I think it defines the eyes really nicely and it looks super nice behind your lenses, but um, I wanted this to be more like of an everyday look. Okay, to finish off the face, I'm gonna bronze up my skin using this uh, NYC Sun and Bronze bronzer in the shade Montauk Bronze. I'm just gonna use a little stipple brush from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Pretty much this is all the same as how I would normally do my face makeup if I wasn't wearing glasses too. So yeah, it's basically the same thing blush palette from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade Sugar and Spice. I'm gonna go in with this super illuminating blush right here at the top. I always prefer shimmery blush over a matte blush when I'm wearing glasses. I don't know why. For highlighter, I'm going to be using this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Precious Petals highlighter. I really hate how Wet n Wild products don't flip all the way back. Like This is just a huge pet peeve of mine when they like get stuck at this point. I feel like highlighter is a step you could probably skip when you're wearing glasses. I don't know, I feel like it's a step that I will sometimes skip. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my chin and on the tip of my nose. I usually put highlighter right here on the bridge of my nose, but it's gonna get covered up by the glasses anyway, so I'm not doing that today. Basically, that is everything completed. The last part would be lips, and you can pretty much wear any lip color with glasses. I think bold colors look really nice with glasses. I think that really dark colors look really good with glasses as well, and also nudes. So today I'm gonna go for something right in between, and this is one of the new L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Cowboy. It's a very neutral, like warm toned brown. I'm just gonna take off my contacts and I'll be right back. All right, and these are the first pair. I think these are probably my favorite ones. I've never had like thin framed glasses in forever. I just love how these ones uh, fit my face. I don't know, I like these ones so much. They're so fun and comfy. I honestly can't really remember what these frames are called, but I'll link everything below. I feel mildly like Harry Potter when I wear these. The next pair that I got are these ones, and these ones feel like they're a little bit more fancy because of the black frame and the gold detailing. It's almost like a silvery gold detailing. I've always wanted a pair of glasses like these. I feel like they just look very sophisticated and I don't know, they just look very very like formal and like good for the workplace. They frame my face really well. They don't slide down. That's one thing I hate about glasses that they always slide down my nose. I have a really thin like nose at the top and my glasses always slide down. I love these. I think they are so classy and nice and I feel like they would look really good with a very bright lipstick or maybe like a red lipstick. I think that will look super nice. My last pair are these ones. Ah, I don't know if I like these ones the most or these ones. I, Oh man, I really like these ones as well. These are plastic. They don't have the um, little nose thingies that the other two pairs have. They have a really cool feel to them. Like they're not, I don't know, they're kind of like almost like flimsy here, but I feel like these are like the most comfortable pair that I have because it's so flimsy and soft that they don't pinch my temples in. I wear these all day, I don't get headaches, and that's a big problem when I wear glasses is that I get headaches like almost instantly after like two hours of wearing glasses, I have like a headache. These ones have the right amount of give to them. They fit so nicely. These probably fit me the best, I think. And I also love that these are clear. I also really want to get clear frame glasses. Um, that's always been like something I was looking for. I think that they don't look too intense, especially you can wear bigger sizes and they're not gonna be like in your face. They're kind of just very subtle but they still give you that kind of like edgy vibe. I don't know, I really like these ones as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found my tips for wearing makeup with glasses helpful. This is just what works for me and what I prefer to wear when I have glasses on. Like I will put in the description bar below the link to Firmu glasses where you can get buy one, get one free, including prescription lenses, which is so amazing. Also let me know which frames you prefer on my face the most because I'm having a lot of difficulty choosing which ones I like the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!